Okay, so now we're back in one of the cloned Raspberry Pi nodes. Um, just like we've configured it, I'm booted into, or, or I have booted into the uh, the guest user account. Now to expand the file system and to perform the configuration of the uh, device.ini file, we'll have to log off. So go to start, shut down, choose the option log out. Now again, when logging out, uh, the VNC server acts a bit up, or is acting up, so does some strange things. Now I want to log in as the Pi user. So I log in with the corresponding password, press enter. Okay. And we open up the file uh, explorer. We go to the documents folder, we go to PLIP, we go to configuration, and we open or we run the program that's called second device configuration.py. I double click it, and uh, it's asking me a few things. Now, I have put in some advice here for you. So, a good example of configuring this file is by using unique name location description combinations so a good example for raspberry pi would be a name bellerophon you can choose whatever name you'd like you can choose autos as a name or famous uh, literary personages or whatever uh, then you give this device description be sure to mention if it's a raspberry pi or if it's a windows machine because uh, the pilip software can also run on windows Finally, you uh, type in the location of uh, the machine. It's something choose something short, uh, but something that's clear as well. So, for instance, near cabinet five or or something. A bad example would be uh, the name Chimera. Okay, that's just something at random. And then the description: a computer. Okay, there's literally no value to that. And location indoors. Yeah, which is pretty obvious. So I'll follow up with a good example and choose something like this now it's asking me if I want to verify the settings inside of that I will press Y just for the sake of it and as you can see, everything that I've typed in here is now present in my uh, device.ini file. I'll press enter to close and it will close the text file as well. Now, the second thing we'd want to do is we'll want to expand our file system. For this we'll open Pi Assistant. Choose Raspbian configuration tool and in the terminal choose the first option that says expand file system simply press enter you get a blue screen saying that the partition has been resized you just press ok then we will close the raspi config tool by uh, selecting finish and then it's asking me if I would like to reboot the machine now I click yes or I select yes and that's it now the machine is going to reboot automatically into the um, public user account.